What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. For the first time in history, Disney has decided to tell a story about different and diverse aspects of the Latino culture and fans loved it. Considering the major success of the first film, there has to be a sequel, right? Well, without further ado, here's everything we know about Encano 2. This candle holds the miracle given to our family. Encano. Before we begin with speculations and theories, we need to tell you that Encano 2 is yet to be confirmed by Disney. Hopefully, Disney will consider the idea of a sequel soon, with production starting off this year. Until then, we need to go through everything that is potentially going to happen in the sequel. Directed by Zootopia creators Jared Bush and Byron Howard, Encano has a Mona vibe with songs written by Lynn manuel Miranda. The man is a legend in the music world. Disney does not let go of his talents. Encano also had an impressive cast ensemble with Stephanie Beatriz as Mirabel Madrigal. You might remember Stephanie as Detective Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Then there's John Legosmo, Diane Guerrero, Maria Cecilia Botero, Angie Cepeda, Jessica Darrow, Wilmer Valderrama, Carolyn Gatton, and Mauro Castillo. Despite receiving some incredible reviews both from fans and critics, Encano's future is still uncertain. For those of you not familiar, the film follows the story about a girl still waiting to get her powers while discovering more and more about her family's past. Oh, she also tries to save her family from an upcoming threat. We have to admit it, Disney did a great job here while exploring diverse characters on a deep individual level. Encano stands as the highest grossing animated film of 2021 and it's only natural that fans crave more of the story. Let's see, what are the chances that fans are getting a part two? Shall we? Encano Ending In order to see if a sequel is indeed possible, we need to see if Encano sets up an ending for continuation. More precisely, we need to see if its conclusion left any space for an additional story. As previously said, the first film follows Mirabel in an attempt to save the family's home, Castia. By the end of the film, the house starts to crack and the candle begins to flicker. It is then destroyed and the candle dies. Mirabel is convinced she is responsible for this, but after a talk with Abdullah, the Madrigals are reunited and working on rebuilding the Castilla. Mirabel needs to put a doorknob in the front door, and once she puts it in, everyone gets their magic back. The first film has a perfect conclusion and base plot for continuation. You see, we never get to see Mirabel's powers in Encano, meaning that the sequel could easily follow Mirabel's discovery of her powers. Ever since the film was released, fans have been coming up with different theories regarding her powers and why she never got them. One of the most popular theories suggests that Mirabel took over Abdullah as Castilla's matriarch and that's practically why we never got to see her get any powers. Thankfully, the cast seems pretty interested in a continuation with Jessica Darrow, who voices Louisa, sharing her own theories on where the story of Encano could go next. I want Louisa to take a break. I really want the humanization of Louisa. You know, we saw all of the hard stuff that she has to deal with and the anxieties that she experiences, she said in an interview with BuzzFeed, adding that she would love to see a day where she gets to experience the joy and relaxation of simple pleasure. And the actress also also wants to see her hang out with the unicorn donkey a little more. Oh, she also wants the donkey to talk. There have been some talks about a continuation that will focus on a different character rather than Mirabelle. Are you guys interested in a film or TV show that will follow someone else's story? Let us know. Now let's continue with Encano 2 release date. Encano was released in the US theaters on November 24, 2021. The film was initially set for an earlier release date, but it got delayed because of the ongoing pandemic. Now let's talk about Disney and the reason why the program rarely makes any sequels. All of those dedicated Disney fans know that there are a lot of Disney classics that deserve a continuation. Since launching in 1923, the Walt Disney Company has released many animated and live action films that were really successful even today. Did you guys know that Disney's first full-length film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, is still the highest grossing animated film of all time? But then again, we're rarely treated with sequels. Why is that? Well, it is all about the quality. Quality. 
Here's an instance, Cinderella 2 was released 52 years after Cinderella. This means that Disney doesn't really care about quantity, which is sadly the case with most of the sequels, prequels, and reboots nowadays. Most of the companies only care about money, and we're not saying that Disney makes its films with no interest in money. Not at all. But the company also focuses on quality and most importantly, cares to release a film that will satisfy its fans. So if Disney greenlights in Kano, we might have to wait longer to see its sequel. The filmmakers have created a wide world that needs a lot of time to be created. Also, the attention to detail in Kano is incredible, and now the sequel to it lives on high expectations. If Disney greenlights the sequel soon, we can expect it sometime in 2024 at the earliest. Now, let's continue with Encano 2 cast members. With Encano 2, we'll be disappointed if we don't see the cast in its original form, which of course includes Stephanie and Beatrice as Mirabelle, then there's John Legosmo as Bruno, Jessica Darrow as Louisa, Diane Guerrero as Isabella, Maria Cecilia Botero as Abdullah, Moro Castillo as Felix, Angie Cepeda as Julieta, and Wilmer Valderrama as Augustine, all expected to come back and reprise their roles for the potential sequel. It's it's time for our favorite part in the video, Encano Theories. It turns out most fans wanted to see Mirabelle getting her own powers at the end of the first film, and since we never got to see that, a lot of fans came up with different theories about why she never received any powers. While Encano focused on every tiny detail, the first film never really explained why she wasn't given any magical gifts as a child. So is this plot hole made on purpose? Well, most fans believe so. According to some of the theories, the house is responsible for deciding who gets the powers. It's either the house or the magical candle which created the house. The Reddit user named the Green Dorito 123 has shared their own theory suggesting that Mirabelle never got her powers because of Alma, the family's patriarch, aka Abdullah, which is the Spanish word for grandmother. We've previously mentioned this theory and you get the idea of it. Mirabelle is now the patriarch, the leader. One particular proof that makes this theory reliable is the fact that Alma's pretty old in the first film. Mirabelle and Alma are the only two people to be able to communicate with the Cassia in the movie, the Reddit user said. This could show some sort of special relationship with the Cassian and return the magic in the house. I think that's the reason why Mirabelle doesn't have a room in the Cassia is because her room is Alma's room. When Alma steps down as a leader of the village, Mirabelle will inherit the room and become the new leader of the village. What do you guys think about this? Let us know. Now, here's a question that was bothering us lately. An Encano sequel will ruin the first film? While Encano made a lot of bucks and had a triumphal time at the box office, Disney is, as previously mentioned, yet to greenlight a continuation of any kind. Encano was well received by critics, the story is pretty original, with a plot that makes you watch the film over and over again. The thing is, a lot of fans believe Encano's story got the perfect conclusion by the end of the first film, and anything more than this would simply ruin the film. There are a lot of cases in which a sequel ruined the first film, and to be honest, we'll be devastated if that happens to Encano. Do you think Encano should get a sequel? Let us know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.